What's up y'all, my name's Anna Quinn. I just wanted to take a minute to make a quick video about the whole fresh and fit situation, just give you guys an update. And also, I never really made a video to explain what happened and share the truth and the facts on my own page. So I wanna make this quick, I wanna make it clear so you have all the evidence in front of you. And I just want to share what's going on because this is someone who claims to be a male self-improvement podcast, the top, the best, and they have over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, which I didn't know until I looked into. Um, and they are creating a culture of hateful, mean, uh, I'm not gonna continue commenting, but just they're creating a disgusting culture of men who treat women like crap. And um, so I'm taking a stand and I'm sharing because I can. So what happened, I will be providing evidence let me scooch over so when I edit it, it can be here. Um, basically, Myron reached out to me. He is half of Fresh and Fit. I think he's fresh, but um, I don't think he's fresh. I think his name is fresh on the podcast. But he reached out to me and wanted to do a podcast or wanted me to collaborate with him for his show. At the time, I don't know what his uh, following is now, but he had like 10,000 followers on Instagram. I have had at that time around like 42,000, 40,000, something like that. Um, and so I didn't respond to the DM, to be honest. Then one of my friends, who I'm gonna uh, leave anonymous right now, just because I haven't discussed with him whether or not I can share his identity, told me, hey, uh, one of my boys reached out to you, wants to film some content with you. He has a really popular channel, so you should do it. So I actually responded to the DM and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? He said, let's do a collab. I was like, okay, cool. Um, I was actually planning a trip to Miami, so I told him, like, this is what I'm gonna be in Miami. Um, I wasn't going to pay to come out to be on his show. And I hadn't even looked into his show. I just kind of went off of the friend's recommendation. So Myron and I went back and forth. I'm just gonna pull up the text so I don't say anything that's not true. He asked me when the soonest I was gonna be out there is. I told him that I was planning on being there Friday. He said he wasn't gonna be uh, available then. And then he asked me a relationship question. For some reason, I did not see that mess or that part of the message or I was busy or whatever. So I said, do you wanna make it happen or should I plan for next week? And uh, he said it'd have to be next week. So we're just discussing logistics. I answered his question, said, um, I'm not dating anyone right now. Dated someone a couple months last year, but um, before that I was single and I love talking on that topic. He said, okay, cool, I'm up for that. I'm not gonna do anything platonic with you, just being honest. And I thought he was reaching out for a collaboration because we're both well known in the fitness industry. Um, and. You know, my Instagram following is larger than his, so at the time I still didn't know he had a 400, you know, him and his partner have a 400,000 400, subscriber YouTube page. But I have been approached about collaborations before, and so since I was gonna be out there, it's down to do it. So when he said, I'm not trying to do anything platonic with you, it was completely left field for me because I was only thinking we were going to do some kind of fitness related content collab. And he said, no problem, I collab directly with girls I date, no pressure though. And I was like, so if we aren't dating, you don't want to collab? Because he's never even asked me on a date at this point. So I was like, he said, no, don't mean to be an a-hole, but we have plenty of women in Miami. And I said, well, same, we have plenty of men here in California, so why would I fly to Miami to date someone who I know nothing about? And he said, simple, attractive women are common, high value men are not. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that yet. Uh, no hard feelings though. I said, you haven't proven to me that you're a high value man. And actually I know quite, I know quite a few high value men. I'm not just an attractive woman. I'm an entrepreneur with a six figure business and a high profile of assets. I'm nothing but com nothing but common. I meant to say I'm anything but common. No hard feelings and a smiley face. <laughs> so then I screenshotted his, our conversation, blocked out his name and I posted on my story because I was shocked at this point that someone would use their business, their show to tried to get women and they think that that would work. And I was also shocked that he said that attractive women are common and high value men are not when it's just like he dismissed me as an attractive woman, but not a high value man or not a high value woman. And, um, you know, I don't know anything about this guy. So for him to tell me that he's this high value man when you're having to use your show to get women, high value men don't have to uh, use their show and clout to get women for the record. Anyway, um, so I posted anonymously and I said, high value men don't talk the way that you did. I have 75 people on my story. I posted a poll and I was like, 
am I tripping or is this crazy? I forget exactly what I said, but people, I had so many people voting, oh my gosh, like this is insane. And so I said, I, I have 75 people on my story who voted. I can't believe what you said. The comments are insane. Not one person has your side or thinks your approach is appropriate. You're tripping. And I was using emoji faces laughing. I said, maybe you should have me on your podcast so I can teach you how to talk to women. And I sent the screenshots. Then he said, responded to the screenshots that I sent and said, I'm just being honest and stand by it. I'm not collaborating with you unless we have sex. You have had sex with a bunch of dudes I know and aren't special. You could have just said no and kept it moving, but you're clearly in your feelings going through all that effort with a poll, etc. Go ahead and screenshot the conversation to Clout Chase. I don't care what 75 simps said in your story to White Knight. The difference is I say what I want and don't care what you think they do. So at this point, this is where Myron lied and told everyone that I started threatening him. And she blurted out my name. And then she sent me a DM saying like, you should probably rethink how you talk to women, blah, blah, blah. Trying to shame me and say like, I can expose you. I, she's like, I'll expose you. I was like, do it, bitch. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Like, I started threatening his business and threatening to expose him. Mess yeah. Up. Yeah. And she made threats like, oh, I, I'm going to like, I'll make you look bad. It'll be bad for your business. I said, do it. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> share. I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> None of this happened. You can see in the DMs. That was just a blatant lie. I was like, I was like, we're going to smash it. She didn't like that. She tried to be like, oh, well, that's your asshole move. Okay. You want me to lie to you? And then like, try to be on this like other bullshit. Scene. Another blatant lie from Myron. I defended myself, told him I haven't slept with a bunch of guys. I said I, that he is a terrible representation of his podcast and his business and that I would be happy to put him on blast. I told him he has an opportunity to impact, influence men and make a positive impact and the example he's setting is trash. I pity any woman who falls for this stupid scheme to fly out to see you and sleep with you for a week promo on your YouTube channel. And then he said, all you'll do is cement my reputation, blah, 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 you don't like it, that's not my problem. Unfortunately, I am who I am, I don't have to worry about an image. And um, that's the end of the conversation. Well, there was like one more response uh, and I said, unless you were, there, you don't know anything about the men that I've been with. Unfortunately for women everywhere, you are who you say you are and that's pathetic and then I blocked him. So a couple things, Byron has been lying to everyone saying, one, I was threatening to expose him, threatening to ruin his business. Obviously you can see from the proof that's not true. Um, a lot of his following is under the impression that I was trying to get on his show or asking to be on his show. Again, you can see from the screenshots, that's not the truth. I didn't even know anything about his show, which again, <laughs> That's a lesson I learned. Don't agree to come on a show unless you've actually researched the show. I was just going off of a mutual friend's uh, recommendation because I that, that's a pretty good friend. <laughs> but uh, and he felt terrible about it and apologized once he saw. But the reason why I'm speaking about it now and I wanted to make a video then and explain what was going on, but I decided to just not give any more attention to it. But I'm making a video about it now because I'm getting harassed and bullied daily by his following and by his by his people. Myron told every the guys, the guys on the podcast told everyone to put my Instagram handle in their bio or in their little messenger. Well, I don't know how YouTube videos work like that. But her stuff. And then she blocked me because she was like, oh, okay, this dude, I can't hurt him by trying to wait a minute. embarrass him. Like, what's her Instagram again? It's, it goes something like Anna Quinn Fitness. Oh, there you go. Uh, Anna oh. Quinn Fitness. Yeah, I want to roast her. Uh, I don't care. No, <laughs> no, I, yeah. I, she wanted to smoke. Okay. I'm, now, now you got to deal with with that. Now you got to get embarrassed and look stupid hey, and all this other shit. Someone put her na her Instagram in the chat. <laughs> Can we see her Instagram real quick? It might have been me. Oh, oh damn! Oh, you want to pull it up? Oh, I would love to see her Instagram. Nah, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't even want to give her that. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought that was fresh and fit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? Because I had to do a privacy complaint. That's what she oh, did. They put my Instagram on their show so that people could go mess with me, and they told the lies about what actually what they what they're claiming happened and that is not the truth so not only is this guy lying to everyone but he's claiming to be a male self-improvement expert and the leading show for male self-improvement but the culture that he is raising is gross and disgusting these are bullies i get at least five messages a day of people telling me I'm a whore, telling me to go kill myself, people commenting on my pregnancy announcement video telling me I'm just, I've been sleeping around, how, sh you know, the just awful comments. And here's the thing, nobody knows what's, nobody, not a lot of people, only the people close to me know the real situation of what's going on with me and the father of this child. But the truth is I can't talk about it because I've been threatened. My safety has been threatened. I was threatened and I've been talking to a lawyer and I'm not able to discuss the details of that. So right now I just have to leave it kind of plain and generic and I'm fine with that. But me receiving all of this harassment and bullying and 
all of these comments. It's it's heavy and I can't, I'm tired of it and I'm not gonna keep receiving it without taking a stand for myself. So that's why I'm making this video because anyone who's following him needs, one, needs to know the truth. You need to unsubscribe from his channels because this is not someone who will help a man improve himself. This is someone who will help a man dig himself into a hole and his culture speaks for itself. Look at the comments I've been receiving. This is what he has bred. This is the tribe that he has created and raised up. And it's, it's disgusting. It's shameful. He should be embarrassed. He should be apologizing that his following and that he has Im like impressed upon these people that this type of behavior is okay. But he's not going to because he's not man enough. So we have a liar. We have a bully. And that's what he's creating. He's creating ignorant bullies who are coming after someone they don't know without knowing all of the facts and the information. And that's why I'm speaking speaking up and speaking out against it. So hopefully this wasn't too long or too boring. I just had to get all the information out. So hopefully y'all will stop watching their dang show and unsubscribe because and share this video because so people need to know. And also women who <laughs> agree to be on this show need to know the truth behind what's going on. And also Myron said that you can't come on, people can't come on the show unless they sleep with him. I can't come on the show unless I sleep with him. He said, I only collaborate with women I'm dating. So is he saying he slept with every woman that's been on the show? Cause I'm guessing that's probably not the truth. Cause I kind of doubt that he would actually be able to get all those women, but I'm not gonna, that's just my speculation. So, okay, that's all. Like this video, share it, subscribe, peace out.